just a beautiful green field and no one around for miles and miles. When all of a sudden, high over your head, you hear this unearthly music. And a blue and white light streaks through the night. Earth people, how would you like to come along with us right now? pipe smokers and anybody else that might be watching. Um, tonight I'm going to be uh, smoking my Peterson Killarney fishtail. Which is a pipe that I already uh, did a Yavo on, incidentally. It's a nice red uh, Killarney fishtail and I'm more than likely it's a uh, a bent pot so it's a pot pipe not that kind of pot but you know what I mean anyway um, so red Killarney that's what it's called and I'm gonna be back in this in it. red the lane dark red just want to show you my little jar here they made because obviously this doesn't really come with a uh, label or anything but I've created my own as I usually do and I like to do that let me get this baby packed up here this has been June 8th is what the uh, date Ooh, I think it, it formed a seal a really good seal Wow. Almost the vacuum. Mmm. I just love the smell of that tobacco. That is awesome. And this is one of my favorites, by the way. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you know that. So Pipes and Cigars had a special going for 24 hours only where you could get a, an entire pound of this for $22.50, I believe it was, to be exact. Um, which is like $10 off of what... <clears throat> a pound would normally cost, so. I've got her packed and everything. And we're ready to go outside. And by the way, this video is also a Yavo. It's two boxes. One from smokingpipes.com. And one from Pipes and Cigars. So... We're out the door. Okay, so let's light up this Peterson Red Killarney Fishtail. It's only the char line, it really is good. Lane Dark Red really is some good stuff. I'm telling you, you gotta. I've noticed it started to sell more on pipes and cigars, incidentally. Mm. That's good, but with no further ado, we're gonna go ahead and do this Yabo here. Um, mm -mm. Very good. First time smoking this pipe, it's very good. I just want to show you this again so you can get a shot at that, that wood grain. Isn't that nice? Mm. We'll do both sides, right? 
Uh, I've also got with me uh, some coffee. And in the cup is this. I'm trying this for the first time. Seattle's Best Coffee Signature Blend, medium balanced. It's um, it's ground coffee, and um, well, come on, you know what I got to do. I can't hold a package or can of coffee in my hand without. Mmm, taking a good whiff of that aroma, that coffee aroma. Oh, nothing like it in the world. Wake up and smell the coffee, right? Okay, enough about coffee. That'll get me all charged up to do the yabo, okay? So, and um, we're going to start with that now. Um, hmm. Got a little pack and slip. This is some. Um, Pack with Care by Dave. Mm. I used to work in retail, by the way, incidentally, and I worked in a store. And uh, at one point, I worked in a family owned store, department store. Really nice. Which I'm used to open packing slips, unloading trucks, and the whole deal. There it is. But I am not going to tell you what it says on the package slip. <laughs> That's my secret. Until it is revealed through the Yabo. Because after all, isn't that what the Yabo is all about? Okay. Cool stuff. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ain't nothing like good pipe tobacco and a good pipe and a good cup of coffee. I'm sorry, but the folks do not know what they're missing. They don't enjoy this kind of stuff. Well, let's go with the eyeball now, okay? I'm talking too much. Yeah, I know. I talk too much. But it's against my religion not to, so just kidding. Got any pipes lying around? Turn them into cash or store credit. There it is. Great stuff. Great. I mean, absolutely mind-blowing English tobacco. Mind-blowing. I smoked some of my Savinelli. This is... Well, gonna, let's, let's get the rest of this because I know what this is. And what this is is two tins of... Hearth and home, and of course this is from smoking pipes. I I forgot to mention that. But I'm sure you saw the logo. Mm. White Knight. White Knight is a medium bodied, very complex and well balanced Balkan style blend. Created to evoke memories of one of the most iconic pipe tobaccos ever made. That's that voice. Where do you know that voice from? Oh. Anyway, that's all that's in that box. But that's enough, isn't it? Isn't that enough? Two tins of White Knight. On to pipes and cigars. I don't really know if I have much in here. We're gonna find out. I know I had some back back orders coming, so um, let's check her out. 
and just see what this is. Please recycle. Oh, what else are we going to do with it? You know? I know. Pop it. I love the loud... What's that? <laughs> Sounds like a firework. Firecracker. And I see this is it. This is all I got. Just the one back order and it's enough. It's Scotty's Butternut Burley. Oh yeah. I'm just waiting to smoke some of this, baby. I think I might even open this tonight. Of course, I'm going to open it because I'm going to put it in to a mason jar, incidentally. So, that does it for the Yabo. Not a big Yabo. Um, and I still got on back order McClellan Craftsbury Frogmorton Pond, of course, which is just otherwise known as Frogmorton Across the Pond. Sam Gulwith Chocolate Flake. And that's it. There are two back orders I got left. I don't have too much coming, but the other day I did order a pound of, of um, Lane Dark Red. Because, like I said, it went on sale for um, 24 hours only. And uh, you would get a, a whole pound for $22.50. And when I signed on to the site, clicked on the site and saw that, I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. So I put it on my credit card, which is a no-no, but how can you pass something up like that? I mean, we don't know how long, you know, if Lane Dark Red is going to be around. We don't know how long it's going to be here, so... Anyway, it's tamping time. Anyway, that voice, incidentally, um, when I was growing up, my brother used to do that voice a lot. The, the one I was just doing, like, for instance, like, Seattle's Best Coffee, Signature Blend, Medium Balanced, Ground Coffee. You make the coffee, you make it awesome. We know it's more than just a cup of coffee. It's your get up and go, your reward. You're just the way I love it. Speaking of love, our signature blend number three is just that. Smooth and drinkable. Deep but approachable. It's distinctively Seattle's best coffee. And the perfect way to make every day a little more special. <laughs> I know there's somebody else on YouTube that does that voice. <laughs> but you have to understand, I grew up around I heard it on National Lampoon Radio Dinner. Uh, which is an old, old comedy album. It's been around for quite a while. And we used to impersonate. We used to do that. Me and my brother used to walk around doing that voice. There was one with Rod Serling. I think it was on National Lampoon. And it was um, it was a uh, a spoof on on marijuana. And Rod Serling would come on and pitch, and he would go, "You're dazed, confused." Wait a minute. Is that how it was? Dazed and confused? No, it wasn't. That's Led Zeppelin. <laughs> it was like, you're dazed, bewildered, trapped in a world no time, where sound collides with color and shadows explode. Yet this is no ordinary science fiction adventure. This is the real life, everyday world of a pothead. Pot, grass, weed, marijuana. It all means the same thing. You smoke it and you get high. Maybe you smoke it because it's the end thing and you want to be with it. Or maybe you're rebelling against your parents. Or maybe you're just looking for kicks. Whatever the reason, ask yourself this. Is it worth the risk? In a recent study at Duke University showed that prolonged use of marijuana can result in a permanent loss of hearing. So the next time someone hands you a joint, maybe you won't just get stoned. Maybe you'll get stoned. Death. And then this this thing would come on. It's wild. It's it's wild. It's wacky. It's slick. It's savvy. It's the mad cat. 
and the sound would go down and you couldn't hear it. So if you were sitting there, if you were sitting there token, you, you would have thought, whoa, man, I'm losing my hearing here. <laughs> I think I dropped my tamper. I accidentally threw my tamper again. Not tamper um, again, because the time I threw my lighter was the first time. I was like, well, I'm just trying to get rid of the mosquitoes, and it flew right out of my hand. That's something that never happened to me before. When you get in your 50s, I think that kind of crap starts happening to you, you know? You start losing your, I don't know what it is, all kinds of stuff can begin to amalgamate. But uh, I was a little PO'd about that because this brand new lighter, awesome Corona I-11 lighter, and it just ended up over there on the sidewalk. And it's got a little nick in it, and every time I take the lighter out, ah, I'm thinking about it. It's like that dent in your truck, in the side door of your truck, and you constantly park the truck with that dent facing against the building so you can't see it or something. I knew a guy that happened to him. But anyway, I'm just going to sit here and um, just chew the cud for a few minutes. If you want to grab your pipe and smoke it with me, you're welcome to. Maybe you can even get yourself some Lane Dark Red. Most awesome cherry tobacco ever, man. I don't know if any of you have tasted, ever tasted a, a better one, but if you did, you ought to let me know. Because I'd like really like to know about it. Anyway, I'm drinking out of my um, seat of my, my uh, smoking pipes cup with the smoking pipes logo, and once again, in the cup is Seattle's best coffee, medium balanced ground coffee for your pleasure. I'm repeating myself now, I know. Not a bad night out here tonight. Not bad. Not too hot. Been seeing a few new uh, pipe smokers on YouTube. Um, can't remember all their names. I think one is Young Piper. Seemed like a pretty cool guy. He had a good idea getting together and doing the um, campfire thing and smoking the pipes around. Everybody smoking their pipe around the campfire. I thought that was pretty cool. Bob. Oh, excuse me. But to get back to this hearth and home, the first English I ever smoked was a um, Dunhill nightcap. And the first impression I got when I opened the tin was that it smelled like fireplace ashes. And actually, in a lot of ways, I mean, that's what this does. I mean, it does smell like fireplace ashes. And it's, um, these are two tins, of course, that are going to go, going to be cellared. Because I've, I've got a jar that um, I uh, stored up some in, so... And, um... The Scotty's Butternut Burley. Yes, we'll be doing a review on that. And I was just thinking maybe I ought to smoke that. Hmm, I either smoke that in my in my Dublin, my Wiley Dublin, or my uh, Big Ben um, Nairobi 981. I got a secret cookie stash over here. Don't tell anybody. They're sugar free. Pretty decent for sugar free. Chocolate, sugar free cookies.
Oh man. You know, I just set my pipe down with that lane dark red in it. Oh man, I can just smell the room note. It is just absolutely scrumptious, man. It is delightful. Completely delightful. I'm so happy that I ordered I actually ordered a pound and a half of that. And I was supposed to order a pound prior to this, like two months ago. Never did order a pound. I only ordered like a few out, um, four ounces or something. This time I went and ordered a pound of it. And um, this brings me to my next question. Um, I saw Philly Pipe Smoker. He's another one, new one I saw on me anyway, a new one on me. I saw where he was sealing, um, he had a vacuum sealer and he was putting it over top of the mason jars and, and to take all the air out after he put the tobacco in. And I'm just wondering how much better that would be to do that process with your tobacco as opposed to just really tightening it, hand tightening it. I was from my research I've been doing on the with all these pipe experts and YouTubers, pipe smokers, it seems that the, from what I've gathered is if you when you put your tobacco into the mason jar, if you have a lot and you can press it down to make it fit, um, you can pack it in and make it fit. I, not too tight. I mean, I don't do it too tight, but I pack it in. So, after you seal that lid, I was told that the tobacco, of course, obviously, logically, uh, according to physics, it will rise. It will expand back up, and it will form a, a vacuum. And that's what I had gathered uh, from the different uh, blogs and informative uh, videos I've seen on pipes. Mm on pipe tobacco and whatever. Um, I got a nice breeze coming in here. Um, Wondery light. Anyway, I have a new series going on, if you're into music. I have quite an extension, uh, extensive collection of CDs, albums, and cassettes. And I'm going to be presenting them here in a series called um, Sound Excursions. So if you want to tune into that, if you're interested in music, you know, by all means, I'm, I've got, I'm going to be, I'm connecting to my brother who's in New Jersey, via telephone and he'll be on speakerphone and he he's got a lot of uh, knowledge when it comes to um, um, music and um, you know I, I do too but he has a lot more extensive knowledge on the um, of course older traditional style rock bands from the early set late 60s early 70s and that kind of stuff I have a lot of knowledge of 80s, 90s, and into the early 2000s. After that, I just <laughs> dropped off the cliff. I I just basically stopped getting into new music. Probably, I mean, the last new band that I've listened to, I I would have to say is probably Radiohead, and they are not a new band. They're from '93, so um, I tried out. Um, What's her name? Um, boy, I can't even think of her name. She's a big pop star now, and I didn't like her. Um, wow. Yeah, I, I can't even think of her name. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. I I just wanted to try out something new. Yeah, I thought her, the cover was kind of cool, and instead of going and sampling it like I should have, I just it was a 3D cover. I kind of just picked it up and thought, wow, this is kind of neat looking. And, but I'll be showing all my CD. I'm not really into that style. That's more like Madonna. Said, well, I won't say Madonna. Lady Gaga's like Madonna. But the new stuff, no. I'm not into that new stuff. I'm into the older stuff. And I'll 
you'll see that in my videos when you if you do decide to watch them. Um, but anyway, I guess um, that'll about do it for the video. There's nothing much else to uh, really add in here. Um, at least I can't think of anything at this point. So that's the end of the video. And um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And feel free to leave comments. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want. You don't have to. I'm not making any money off this channel, but I'm just doing it for fun. Um, have a good one. See you on the other side. Cheers. The Crimson Rain.